off, I think we, uh, I think the more we go to the south, the better. And there's something called a lightning break over there. Wonderful. We get to fight Drakes now. But really cool, but you are one of those that uh, like lizards and all that. Are there any kind of lizards that actually live close to water? Salamanders? Well, they're amphibians now that I think about it. Oh, nice. Hmm. Well, basilisks do. Basilisks? Uh, yeah, oh, well, okay. it's not the mythological creature. Sorry, it's actually... sorry, that was just my third th first thought. Yeah, I know, but there's actually something called a basilisk lizard. Well, this is called that in Danish, or no, also known, sometimes known as the Jesus lizard, because it can run on water. I'm not kidding, hey. it is capable of running on water. Well, shallow water. Once it gets into deep water, you kind of have a habit of falling through, but... Ow. At least I hope it can swim. It can, of course. Of course. It's developed that as a... It's developed the running on water method, so... As, so to as escape predators. Yeah. And here comes the lightning break. And there comes another. Just because this is not fun enough for beginners. Well, we figured out why they're called lightning breaks. Because they shoot lightning orbs. Yep. But you know, they actually look kind of cool for something that is uh, not, you know, entirely draconic. Well, they got fins. They must be adapted to living on here on the coast, obviously. You know, I actually discovered something recently about dragons. Some of them are just these big, brutal and dark ones like, you know, Deathwing. But others can be very philosophical and deep. And that's really pretty nice. Yeah, you might be careful about taking a dive around here. Look out there. Yeah, oh, there's a fish. But really... <laughs> oh, know... there's a shark, I yeah, think. Yeah, uh, I know I cannot dive into the water, but just look. Hello, fishy, fishy, can you get up here? No, because if you do, you will just die. Uh, do you mind waiting for me? Oh, sorry, you were over there pretending to be bait and stuff, so where are you? You do not want to know, but I am on my way. Seriously, could you please at some point just cut off your feet and then just choose to hobble around on stumps? Because really, you are like Sonic the Where are you? You were just across the pond just a moment ago. Yeah, and I am running over here. Over here. Okay, now, stand still. I'm going to make you feel really stupid now. Look what? at me. Ah! <laughs> Shut the fuck up and just lead the way. I'm not going I to say. All the way around that rock for fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <clears throat> well, no wonder you disappeared. You really enjoy this way too much. I'm not saying anything, but yeah. I'm still thinking something. That is just a spike crest. No thanks. And there are some lightning rays over there who are stuck in the middle of a crest. So, Sandy Island. But really, where is my pistol for this? It would be so much cooler that instead of using magic on these guys, you just place a solid slug between their eyes. Why don't you use a combination of both? So, we're gonna find this guy anytime soon? Yeah, I think it was... He said that, according to the text, head south across the beach to find Jessica Halibon. Hmm. And, and we have the very tip of this, so... Well, could also be over there, maybe. I don't know. It's not here. He's not here. So let's go over there. Yeah. And this time, I... Yeah. I'm not going to do that again. Well, we're going to reach another tip soon, so... Oh well. Lightning Drake! actually look like that Drake that, uh, you know, the leader of this stone summit used, except these has fins. Well, and... 
is probably different species of drakes. Notice that they are not just drakes, they are lightning drakes. Yeah. Hmm. You know, one would wonder why they ha are lightning when they obviously with water, but maybe they hunt maybe a bit like um, electric eels. I really do not know enough about electric eels to tell you. Well, they live in water and they're electric. That's the ge what you need to know. Maybe they hunt fish by shooting lightning at them. Hmm. Who knows? Know. It's fun to imagine stuff like that, I feel. Well, there are some hostiles over there, so I just guess we have to go this way. Oh, hold on, hold on. Back here, back here. Over here. Maybe this would be the indication that this is the way we need to go. But, yeah. Well, we might as well look over here now that we made it so far. And I also think these parts connect, so, uh, yeah. We'll find out. If he's not here, then maybe those texts we're looking for are here. There's still time to run if you would not face my axe. I don't think it understands how to run away. That's the good thing about wild beasts. They never really just surrender and run away. So at least you can rely on a good fight. Oh, crafting materials. Nice. And there's there's one more lightning drag alive up there. No wait, there's also some out in the water, but we cannot reach those. Actually we can, the area is, is shallow. Oh okay, fine, fine. You just can't see we that cannot, from the map. And we have to go this way because we cannot really go that other way. Indeed. No, I need to admit, I have very much difficulty in distinguishing the words shallow and swallow. Well... I know that it is, it is spelled different, but it just somehow sounds the same in my head. I can see why that would happen. It happens in Danish too, you know? Yeah. I mean, most people are probably not going to get this, but if someone's talking about a boar, for example, what exactly are they talking about? For reference, boar in Danish is both table and drill. Except one spell with a D. That's silent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. We Danes really have some weird grammar, but uh, yeah. Well, most languages were not exactly designed. They were just kind of made up uh, as we went along with it. So that's probably where most of these strange things come from. Yeah, really, our language has gone from runes to... All like languages have some of this. Because yeah. they were not... It's not like somebody sat down and said, Okay, now I'm going to design English. It's more like people just made it up as they went along. Hmm. Or a also, very long time. Also, as we can see in the distance here, we are approaching civilization again. And we found a Crichton key. Apparently one of the drakes swallowed it. You greedy lizard. Smack. And you know, it is actually quite funny that lightning drakes take damage from my lightning javelin. Well, I'm pretty sure you could electroshock our electric eel, so yeah. Come to Papa, no thanks. And a Crichton key, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you just keep the keys. You are the key master at the moment. I see something over there. Yeah. Looks like some kind of... Uh... This way. Okay, over there. <laughs> I was just trying to go down here, but well, obviously I can't go down in that great... Uh, great... Hole, whatever. You know, Crisis could actually make a fortune if they would sell their beaches out to tourists. Well, they're probably gonna rid of the zombies first. Hmm. Are we going to be here long? Because if so, I'm going to work on my tan. Oh, you messed my you! I do not like me. Holy crap. Abbott and Seegers. Um, who are we looking for again? Just to go happily on. Is he here somewhere nearby? Because we kind of got to talk to him. Yeah, over here. You found him? Yeah, he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The guy with the brown cape. Cape. And that cool You've ass arrived helmet. in Krita at the wrong moment, friend. So we noticed. I don't have time for long speeches. And he but has Wolverine's voice. 
Help me fight these undead, and I'll give you and your people passage into Lion's Arch. Deal. Sure as hell. But really, he has the voice of fucking Wolverine. Awesome. White mantle, advance. Oh, so we're all gonna attack the undead now. This is gonna be interesting. Charge for Crater and Ascalon. Forward. Give it all you got because I'm pretty sure these guys are not gonna hold back. The dead fear nothing. Return them to their graves. White mantle, strike back! I actually love that name. The cape or armor. Okay, now we have all the proof that we need to say that these are the undead remains of an entire civilization. Exactly. That also explains why there are so many of them. Oh, he just got owned by three knights at one time. Okay. And this guy doesn't slow down. He's just charging on. Maybe he is sort of like Rurik. I just hope that he tempers his seal with some patience. Well, he's got an entire army backing him up, so... Actually, that is just more like a commando squad, but yeah, we just say Okay, okay. But with us around, then, the commando squad, still a pretty sizable force. But both seekers, abbots, and knights. Oh, no. Do we get the feeling we're going to encounter that large force that we saw before? Of course we are. Oh, God. A horseman. An undead horseman. Oh great, now they can pull up the whole undead headless horseman act. Necrit horseman. That's Necrit? Never heard that word before. I heard it before, but yeah. Uh oh, I take care of the horseman and his boss. Oh and the spiritless. Yeah, those horsemen. Turns out they're necromancers on mounts, apparently. So yeah. There, the horseman went down and oh my god, the scream it made out my ears. Trust me, that undead horse, being as it dies, sounds very awful. Well, I wasn't close enough to hear it, but I'll take it the has... high ground about both sides of the entrance as well. If you can. I just follow the rest of his uh, squad. Okay. Well, you said some. You need to hurry. We have encountered a lot of them down here. They are actually enforced here, I think. And there are some over here. Take the fight to them. Don't let them take the high ground. Oh yeah, there's a large force moving around. And some sources. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to help out the group over here. They look like they could need it. Alright, you do that. i see if I can take care of this. I just deal with the main army over here. Alright, white mantle, where to next? Okay, managed to save one of the seekers before he died with a healing spell. And the knight will survive as well, so that's nice. That was close. Alright, my group is just standing over there looking like chess pieces, but no, it is because they are being attacked from below. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm coming now, I'm coming now. No worries, I think we can hold them for a moment. At least I hope so. There we go. Okay, you're handling this, I can see. Most, mostly because of the arrows of the Seekers, the Knights being competent melee fighters, and I'm being healed by the Abbots. Okay, so should we proceed now? Yeah. Okay. We need to strike while the iron is hot. Just give me a few moments to heal. Will do. I'm, I'm still poisoned, but... It is not no, it's the swamp water. Be careful about it. The swamp water is poisonous. All right. Great. We got our mental, our mental oh. effects. I was wondering if they were going to make a comeback. So yeah, watch where you step. Indeed. 